And on the foreign scene, New Zealand on Wednesday said the Defence Force will now oversee the country's quarantine facilities and strengthen border requirements after a slip-up allowed two people with coronavirus to move around the country. New Zealand on Tuesday lost its COVID-free status when two women who had been given permission to leave quarantine early on compassionate grounds after arriving from Britain tested positive for the virus. This case represents an unacceptable failure of the system. It should never have happened and it cannot be repeated. From the beginning, we have taken an extraordinarily cautious approach at the border. That is why we have required every returning New Zealander to go into a facility that we manage. That protocol remains. That is also why we required not one, but two tests to be undertaken of those in facilities. One at day three and one at day 12. That should have happened in the cases we learned about yesterday. It did not, and there are no excuses. The suspension of compassionate exemptions will continue until such time as we can guarantee a disciplined and rigorous system at the border that ministers have confidence in. I know this will be upsetting to some New Zealanders seeking to return home to visit dying relatives and loved ones. However, the risks to our collective efforts to eliminate COVID are simply too great. I cannot allow the gains we have all made to be squandered by processes not being upheld.